The shared workbook feature is used to share your workbook with others on your network, allowing them to make changes to it at the same time. And it highlights those changes with different colors for different users who made the changes, but only after they save their changes on their end, and then you save it on your end, will you then be able to pull in their updated changes. So for example, here's my spreadsheet or the workbook, share workbooks on the network, and to be able to share this workbook so everybody else can access it at the same time to turn the feature on, come down and click on the review tab on the ribbon, go to the changes group, and there it is, share workbook. Click on it and check the box allow changes by more than one user at the same time. This also allows workbook merging which we'll talk about in another training video. Then let's go ahead and click on the advanced tab to see what the default options are and see if we want to change any. Like when it comes to tracking changes, you can keep the history for those changes up to 30 days. The default you can do more or less or don't keep track at all. You can also have the changes updated in your view or in your session when you're sharing it with others when you save the file or have it done automatically every so many minutes. And then if there's a conflict, like for example, when Carrie's in the workbook at the same time that I'm viewing it and she makes a change here to January for fantasy sales, types in zero, and then saves it, it's out there until I go ahead and if I make a change to the same cell and click save, then hers is coming in, mine's going out, there's a conflict. So what do you want to do? Go ahead and ask me which changes when or the changes being saved wins. So whoever made the last save, they win. In any case, choose what you'd like, click okie dokie. It's going to now change it to a shared workbook, click OK again, and then up here it adds in square brackets shared. So now you know that the workbook is being shared. I'm going to go ahead and have Carrie open up the shared workbook and make some changes, and then when I click save, we'll see what it looks like then on our end, those changes that she made. Okay, she said that she made some changes to bring in those changes. Just come up here, click on the Save button, and there you go, it's been updated, click okie dokie, and oh, that's horrifying. It's got a highlight of a light green, it's hard to tell which cells she made changes to. Uh, you may be able to squint or be able to detect the light shade of green, in any case. When you hover over the cell that she made the change to, you can see in the pop-up the comment, or the note, it was by Carrie Heffernan on that date at that time and the name of the cell, what it was, and what it changed to. It used to be 150 and it changed to 0. Then the others is from 300 to 1, and this one from 225 to 2, and then 300 to 3, and we oh, can't see it, better scroll over. There we go, 350 to 4. Let me go ahead and scroll back. Now that can be very helpful because if I'm looking at it when I hover over it and I'm like, no, 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 it's not 0, it's actually 150. When I make a change, any change, or edit to the spreadsheet, it automatically clears out the highlights to the cells that she made the changes in. So if I'm like, oh, rats, what were those cells? Well, that's pretty obvious, one, two, three, four, but if you couldn't readily tell what the cells were, then you can come up here on the Review tab, go to the Changes group, and track those changes. Click on the drop-down arrow and say Accept or Reject Changes. The action will now save the workbook because you have to save it before you can continue. Click OK. and go with the default, those that haven't been reviewed yet, and click OK. And then it goes through and it says OK. The current cell that we have selected, the original value is 150. Carrie said it was 0, but then you changed it back to 150. What one do you want? We can go ahead and select Carrie and say OK, accept that one. And you can see that it, it made the update to 0, and it goes to the next change. So over here, she made the change that used to be 300 to 1. Do you want to accept it, reject it, and if you want to just plow through the rest of them without reviewing them, you can say accept all or reject all. We can say reject it, reject it, reject it, and then the final one, reject it. So the only one that we accepted was the first one. And if you decide later on that you didn't like what you accepted or rejected, that's it. It's a one-time deal because if you come back up here and try to do it again, accept, reject changes, and well, they've been reviewed, even if you uncheck that and say, let's just do it for everyone who made changes, and you click okie dokie, it says, ah, there are no more changes to accept or reject. It was a one-time thing. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like when Carrie types in a number here and saves it. And before I go ahead and save it, I'm also going to type in a number in the same cell, 222, and then click save. So she already saved hers for the cell before, and the change is sitting out there for me to pull in 
and it only pulls in after I click save, but because I made the change to the same cell when I click save, we're going to have a, uh-oh, a conflict. Your changes on sheet product sales are thus. And you said it was going to go from 0 to 222. But Carrie said, instead of 222, she wanted 999. Which one do you want? Do you want to accept yours or the other? And if you had additional conflicts, because you can go nuts, you could actually go ahead and change all the data in here, one cell at a time. And she could have done that at the same time, but saved hers first. Then when you click Save on your end, her updates are coming in here, but yours are going up. And they conflict, in which case you can go, okay, you can do it one at a time by selecting one at a time your changes or selecting the conflicting change and accept yours or the other or do all of hers or all of yours. So, all right, we'll go with the other. And your workbook has been updated with changes made by others. Click okie dokie. And you can see the green highlight. Well, okay, I don't know if you can see the green highlight. It's so light green. But in any case, if you go ahead and Make another change or an edit, type in something, it disappears. Let me go ahead and delete that. And if you're like, okay, I'd like to go ahead and review that again, then you can come back up here to track changes to accept or reject. Of course, save the workbook, click okie dokie. Not reviewed yet, click OK, and it's just the one. So then you can go ahead and say, you know what, I don't want to accept that, I'd like to reject it. In which case it goes back to zero because it doesn't remember the conflict that you had as 222. We already bypassed that when we accepted her change. Now it was just the difference between the original zero and her edit, 999. Now you ought to know that when you're sharing your workbook, Excel doesn't support certain features like deleting worksheets, merging, and splitting cells. So for example, if I come down here and right click, I can't delete the worksheet. Better yet, if you want to come up here and click on any one of these tabs, like the Home tab, no conditional formatting, no format as tables. Those aren't available, and you can go through and look at the other tabs and see what's faded and not available, like the theme for colors, fonts, and effects. And then finally, anybody can go ahead and unshare the workbook. Well, that's not very nice. In other words, if I come up here and click on Share Workbook, and I go to the Editing tab, and I say, oh, I don't want to share it, uncheck it, and I click OK, this action will remove the workbook from shared use. The change history will be erased and other users who are editing this workbook will not be able to save their changes, even if you share this workbook again. Are you sure you want to remove it? Okay, we'll say no, and we'll keep it shared. So when I come back up here, in any case, anybody can do that. And notice that this workbook shows who has it open. It's got me and Carrie Heffernan. Now I can go ahead and select Carrie Heffernan and say, he, he, he. I'm going to be a little monster and remove her from having access to the shared workbook. Now if I do that, it says that the action will prevent the user from saving the workbook and the user's unsaved work will be lost. Well that's horrifying. Let's not do that. We can go ahead and click cancel and say, well we won't do that, but let's go ahead and have Carrie do it to us so I can show you what happens when somebody does it to you. Okay, she just said that she removed us from sharing the workbook and there's no dancing clown that comes out and says, hey, the only way that you'll know if you've been kicked out is, well, one way is to go ahead and type in something, make a change, and then go, okay, let me go ahead and save it. In which case it says, uh, no, you're no longer connected to the file. Somebody may have kicked you out. Ooh, how naughty. So if you want to go ahead and preserve your unsaved work, click OK and save the shared workbook with a different name. Then you can go ahead and open up the original shared workbook again and merge in those changes from the copy of the workbook that you just saved. And we'll talk about that in a later training video, that you can go ahead and merge workbooks together, shared workbooks that is. In any case, let's just go ahead and click. It opens up the Save As window, in which case I'd have to say, well, this is shared workbook number two, and then click Save, updates it up at the top. And so it's a duplicate or a copy of the original shared workbook, in which case in another training video, you can go ahead and merge the two together. As you recall, when you come up here and click on Share Workbook, it also allows workbook merging. Like I said, we'll cover that in a later training video, but if somebody does that to you and you're like, oh, rats, how do I go ahead and merge that back into the shared workbook after I save a copy of my changes that I don't want to lose? Go ahead and watch my Merge and Compare Workbooks training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.